Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to customize your inquiry form and then how to embed that into your website. So what you want to do is set up your brand first. If you haven't done that, you can check out the video on how to set up your brand. It's one of the first things you probably want to do when you get started with Pixify. If you have a pro account, you can set up multiple brands. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and click on one of these brands right here. Okay. So when you first set up your brand, it's going to take you to this page. It's going to ask you to fill out all this information. This is stuff that gets populated to basically all the other modules in your Pixify. So it's very important that you take care of this. I'm going to link the video on how to set up your brand under this. So that way you can check that out in case you want to come back to this video. Okay, so one of the things that you'll want to do is set up your inquiry form right away if you want to use that to track your leads. Um, so you click on inquiry fields right here and it's going to take you to this form. When you get to this form, all the eyeballs are going to be green. Um, and then that way you can come in and check all these eyeballs off if you don't want them to show up on your inquiry form. So what you'll want to do is go in here and just basically kind of click on and off the ones that you actually want people to fill out. If you shoot multiple things, um, you probably want to make this inquiry form a little bit more standardized so that way when they you know, click an event type um, that it will show up correctly, especially if you shoot like say for instance baby portraits, you're not going to want the role to be bride. But let's say assuming that we just shoot weddings, um, so I'm just going to click here and um, basically you know, customize the form based on me shooting weddings. Before you get in here, it's going to show you basically what will show up on your inquiry form. Say for instance, date. Uh, so, you know, if you only shoot weddings, you probably want to make this a little bit more customizable to clients that are looking for you to shoot their wedding. So you could say, you know, wedding date. So that way it gives a good idea of what they are wanting to put in that field. Uh, so that way it's a little bit more specific to you. Okay, and then for instance, in city and town, I put venue so that way they can basically, you know, write in their venue and then I will get a better idea of, you know, where they're located. And, you know, if I already have the venue area, I probably don't want to know the, the state, so I'm just going to go ahead and check that box, okay? So you can actually have multiple roles in here. So if you have a wedding, then you can do, you know, one bride and one groom. I'm um, going to change this role area to be just groom, so that way they know that you're asking for the groom's information. And um, you're going to want them to know their name, their phone number, their email, obviously. So I made those areas required because I definitely want those to, them to fill that out. So you can just check this little box right here that makes it required so that way they know. Okay. And then I'm just going to go ahead and hide custom fields just for the purpose of this video. And the next video I'll show you how to do custom fields if you do multiple types of event types. Okay. So when you go to set up your brand, it's going to ask you to create a URL right here. Um, so this is the one we picked. You can always change that URL whenever you want. So when you set up your inquiry form, it's going to populate this URL for your inquiry form. And that is how you get that URL right there. Okay. So there's two areas of your inquiry form. This one right here is the non-branded one. This is one we're going to use to embed to the website. You can also use this one if you want to maybe say, for instance, link it directly to any query form that has your logo and everything like that. Um, so you can also do that as well. Say for instance, you just have a link that says contact me and then you can have it open in a separate window to this inquiry form right here. But I'm just going to show you on this video how to embed this to your website. So when I click on this, it's going to bring up a sample of that inquiry form. And now you see in this drop down menu, it's going to show you all the event types that this current brand actually shoots. So let's just say for the purpose of this, they want to inquire about a wedding and they're going to get married on Halloween. And now you can see this is where the inquiry form shows up based off of the customization that you did. It's going to ask for their name, their phone, their email, the venue, um, the state, um, how do they find you, a ceremony location, and all this other stuff right here. Um, just based off of what you um, asked for it to do. Okay. Um, so once they fill this out and submit it, it's going to send straight to your email a notification that you got an inquiry via Pixify, okay? So then going back to the inquiry fields, um, we're just gonna take this link and embed it to your website. So say for instance, right here, a sample. Um, 
you know, I am using WordPress um, and I want to embed this link into my website. So I would just uh, basically go to the text area and then I will insert an iframe. Um, so you just want to use this code here, iframe src equals, and then you want to put in parentheses the URL and then also the width and the height. Now this is important because depending on how long your inquiry form is, you might want to change these with these heights so that way it fits properly into your your page without it having to scroll. If you like the scrolling, then that's totally fine. I preferred it not to scroll, so then I changed the, the height here to match my inquiry form. And then if you do it correctly, based on this code right here, it will show up on your website just like this, okay? All right, so that is how you customize your inquiry form and embed it to your website. Make sure you subscribe to this channel to keep the more Pixify tips and tricks, and I will talk to you next time.